another Game Tech Super Chef video, and I'm going to be showing you guys the top three best free Chrome apps you can download right now. So the first one is this really cool weather app I found called Nice Day. Now, as the name suggests, it's pretty much going to tell you your weather. For example, I put in New York, New York, and uh, United States of America. It gives you the time, it gives you the day, and beneath down here, it gives you your temperature, your lows and highs, and, you know, a pretty good description, your, how much it's going to rain, if it's going to rain, humidity, wind, you know, your usual weather stuff. Now, what I really liked about this is it's minimalistic. It really looks nice. Like, the wallpapers, backgrounds really look nice. You can look on the bottom here for a 10-day forecast where the minimalistic stuff goes away and you get a lot of details and information. So you can go through and look at every hour, every day, in the next 10 days. And you can also change the language there, and you can just X out of this, and it's really nice animated, and it just really looks nice here. You have a dashboard here, which pretty much brings you to your settings, you can customize everything. And that's the dashboard there, and you can go full screen, you can go you know, out of full screen. And you can change cities too, for example, I put in a San Antonio, Texas uh, search thing here, and as you can see, it shows you some pretty awesome pictures. And what I actually really liked about this is you can also do a Google search from the side. And let's say I search for um, YouTube, press enter. It actually takes you to, you know, your Google search and searches up YouTube. And so I think that was, I really like that feature. It's a really nice, pretty, but yet really functional weather application that's also free. Now the second app I want to discuss here is Sunrise Calendar. Now this has already been released on Android and iOS as you can see in the bottom left corner. And it got a lot of attention on these platforms for one main reason. It was really good looking and still got the job done. Unlike Google Calendar, which is you know the wide, most widely used calendar ever. So this thing looks very good on desktop too. It gets a lot done and it's very, very easy to use. Now you have to link it up with some sort of an account to use it. I linked it up with my Google account because that's what I use. And it's just really simplistic and intuitive. You can click on any day to pretty much add an account at a event there. For example, I click there, I can say test, and I can change it, you know, all day, time, and I can change all of the options from the same screen, save it, and within a press of two buttons, I am done and I'm still on the same page. This is really, really a good calendar app. I don't think it's appreciated enough how easy to do this is. When you compare it with something like Google Calendar, it is just miles better. In the left-hand panel, which you can remove, by the way, you have a mini-view calendar where you can take a look ahead. You can expand those. You also have a settings icon. And you can go ahead and you know go forward and backwards in the year on those arrow keys. And you can also change it to a day-by-day, week view if you are, you know, busier than the average person. But you can also make it a month view, which is what I use because I like month views. You can search, and it's, it's just an amazing calendar. It looks really good, and it's just so quick to use. I just, I, I really, really like this calendar, and I highly recommend you download this for your Chrome as well. Now, the last app I want to say is, of course, Angry Birds, the classic favorite of the masses. And you probably already know you can play this on your tablet and phone, but it's just way better on the computer, because, you know, it's, like, ten times bigger. And to play, you probably have to log into, like, all of these, you know, through your account. But regardless, it's still a great pastime. It's really fun, and you can play it offline with a good internet connection while it downloads in the background. And I just, I'm terrible at it, but it's still really, really fun. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll have a link to download all these apps in the description below. So definitely go check those links and apps out. And uh, thanks for watching.